Hello you guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a whole house clean with me so there is tons of motivation coming your way in this one. I did want to also address my absence over the last couple of weeks. If you do not follow me over on Instagram or if you have not been keeping up to date on my community tab, my five-year-old son Grayson broke his femur bone in his leg on April 6th and it has been a whirlwind since then. He did need Need surgery to fix it and honestly this has been the scariest hardest most stressful week of my entire life but he is on the mend and he is doing so so well it was a terrible break I will insert a picture here if you are interested he did need a plate and 11 screws to fix him up and get his leg put back together he is completely non weight bearing so he is not allowed to touch the floor with that leg for the next four to six weeks we do have a couple follow-up appointments so we will figure out more as we go to those appointments so he is currently in a wheelchair he does also have a walker and he is honestly doing so well I am so proud of him he is just rolling with the punches he hasn't complained once and he is just doing amazing honestly and I guess that's all you can ask for I have been in a little bit of a panic and a funk over it. I think I am handling it worse than him, but we are all on the up and up and he is doing well and is healthy and is safe and that's all I can honestly ask for. Thank you for all of the well wishes you guys have sent our way. Like I said, it has been a really scary time, especially when we were in the hospital and they were saying he needed surgery and it all just happened so quickly but it went great, everything went perfectly, and I honestly couldn't be more thankful to everybody who helped him and the surgeon and the nurses and the doctors. Everyone was just so kind and supportive and I'm just really happy with the care that he received. But thank you so much for being here for another video. This video was actually filmed and most of these voiceovers were done before he broke his leg. So you will probably see him running around throughout this video, but it was all filmed and edited previously. I just wanted to include this update in my voiceovers. But thank you again for being here and I really hope you all enjoy this one. I did want to start today's video off by getting a little sappy and just saying thank you so much to all of you for clicking on today's video. Whether this be your very first video of mine that you are watching or if you have been here from the beginning or anywhere in between, I did want to say thank you so much to each and every one of you. Your support is so appreciated. I had no idea when I started my YouTube channel four years ago that it was going to be be able to build into what it is now and this is my 200th video which is absolutely wild to me I cannot believe I have created 200 videos here on YouTube and you guys make this what it is you make it possible for me to stay home with my kids and do something I love doing while also being able to help support my family it is truly mind-blowing and again I feel like I just cannot say thank you enough to all of you if you are new here hello and welcome my name is Aaliyah and I am a mom to three kids I have have a one, four, and five-year-old. I love to post cleaning motivation here on my channel and I do post new videos every single Friday. I post cleaning, decluttering, I post cleaning, decluttering, organizing, deep cleaning, and the occasional room makeover. So if you do enjoy that type of content, definitely stick around and subscribe down below. I would absolutely love to have you. And if you are a returning viewer, welcome back. I am so happy that you decided to come back and watch another one of my videos. I hope you find this one super motivating and it helps you tackle whatever is on your to-do list today. Oh, 
before we do get any further into today's video i did want to introduce you guys to fixed and thank you to fixed for sponsoring today's video Fixed does make car ownership easier and saves you money over the lifespan of your vehicle. The fixed sensor and free app is super easy to use and tells you why your check engine light is on. All that you have to do is plug the sensor into the port that virtually every gas powered vehicle has and then you just hit scan on the app. It does sync directly to your phone via Bluetooth so you can monitor your vehicle and quickly resolve any issues. And it does keep track of your mileage and keeps you informed for when your vehicle is due for routine maintenance. A couple other great features with Fixed is they do give you a simple explanation of most codes and what they mean. They let you know how severe the issues are, how much they'll cost to get them repaired, where you can get them repaired, and they even have an on-call team of mechanics that you can call if you have any questions. I am currently in Justin's vehicle and I am going to be testing all of this out and showing you guys how this works. He has had the maintenance required light on his dash for probably a couple of months and he cannot figure out what is wrong with it he is the type of guy who likes to take things into his own hands and fix them himself but he can't figure this one out and he doesn't want to waste his money and take his truck in to get answers to things that aren't actually wrong so i wanted to give you guys a closer look at the scan report and as you can see it did come up as a major driving impact which is good to note as it could be something important that needs to be addressed but mine does have a pending code that says it is likely safe to ignore if all the dash lights are off which ours are off it is something we still will get checked out in the future as it could become a major issue if that does come on and then I'm going to click on the code here and it just gives you a little bit more information as you can see we will fail an inspection with this and it does state that there are no immediate repairs needed but it, we can call the mechanic hotline here to get some more information especially if Justin is wanting to fix it himself it feels so good to know what, what is going on with Justin's vehicle now and to know that there is no immediate steps that we have to take, but we will be keeping a close eye on it and we can even get it checked out the next time we're in the shop for something else. But I am so happy with how this worked. I would recommend Fix to anyone who owns a vehicle. It is such a good tool to have and just gives you some peace of mind. And I do have a special offer for you guys if you use the link down below in my description box. You you can get your very own fixed sensor for $20 instead of the original $60 and thank you so much to fixed for sponsoring today's video small city thinking I get why you left small minded people sure know how to drink I actually got a comment from somebody, I think in last week's video, saying that they make their own Dawn Power Wash Spray, which is such a good idea. I would have never really thought to look into a recipe for that, but it got me thinking, if you guys have any really good homemade cleaners, definitely leave the recipe down below in the comments because I would be very interested in trying some out. The only homemade type cleaner I use is vinegar and Dawn dish soap to clean my shower which I will be sharing with you guys a little later on it works so well for the hard water buildup so like I said I would love to try some more out so leave them down below Now that all of the main areas are clean, I'm quickly going to vacuum all of the flooring. I know it is hard to tell in these clips, but trust me when I say that there are fur balls and crumbs all over my floors. So I'm just going to run the vacuum over all of the surfaces before moving on to day number two. So 
So now we are moving on to the next day of cleaning and the very first thing I was wanting to get done was throw all of my bedding in the washing machine to get that in and going while we cleaned up the rest of the rooms. Nothing to hold me back, take my time, just enjoy the ride. I know man, passing by, life is good, best I've ever felt. Get me up, so in, so where I can find myself. Oh, I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel. Now that we have all of the bedding in the washing machine, we are back upstairs to get started on cleaning off this dresser. Every single time I clean this dresser off, I promise myself it will never get like this again. I absolutely love when it's cleared off and I need to get better at just putting things away where they belong when I pick them up in the first place and not stick them somewhere else. That is probably one of my worst habits is I don't put things back immediately. I put them somewhere else and promise myself I'll get back to it later on and I never do so let me know down below if you can relate to that because it is such a struggle for me over here but we got it cleared off and it looks so much better and hopefully this time it can stay clean for more than a couple days Now that all of the furniture is cleared off, wiped down, and dusted, we are going to be moving on to vacuuming all of the carpets. I did a few videos ago ask about recommendations for a bigger vacuum like this one to vacuum my carpets, and the majority of you said Shark, which is interesting to me. I have never owned a Shark vacuum, but I think that is the one I am going to purchase when this one finally dies. I have had Dyson since I have moved out on my own over 10 years ago and I honestly have always loved Dyson. I do enjoy their vacuums but I think this is the third purchase of this exact vacuum I have had in the last 10 years and I do feel like that is a little excessive. I feel like they are slowly going quicker than my first one and I'm just kind of ready to try something new and I do always enjoy trying out new cleaning products. Wide awake is the way that you left me Sat beside in your car in the backseat Wide awake is the way that you left me, oh Now it's clear we are here back at your house And I keep fading into the background I'm wide awake, now you keep missing out for sure now that the master bedroom is cleaned, I did want to carry on with the bedroom, so we're going to be moving on to Grayson and Rowan's room. They do share this room. It is the larger of the two bedrooms that we have for the kids, and then Quinn has the other room. I've been talking about doing a bedroom switch probably for six months now, and we are finally getting to the point where we are getting ready to do it, and I am so excited to start doing the switchover. Grayson has been asking nonstop. He is so excited to have his own room. He really wants to do a Pokemon theme, which is great for him. I personally don't love doing themed rooms because I feel like they can grow out of them, but it is something he is really wanting, and Justin and I were kind of talking about maybe doing it as his big birthday gift. We can do a a lot of really cool stuff. I don't know if I've mentioned it on my channel before, but Justin actually used to be in graphic design, so he has a lot of different tools and techniques and machinery that he can use to create a really cool room with a lot of really cool decor. So we'll see what happens, but in the meantime, we are still kind of going with how the situation is now. 
And for the girls' room, I don't exactly have a theme or a style in mind. I just want something really girly and pretty and fun. We have a lot of the pieces already purchased for that, and I'm just excited to see my vision come together. As I was dusting off the nightstand, I noticed how dusty the baseboard was, so I decided to just quickly pull the nightstand away from the wall so I could get back here and clean it up. And now we are moving on to Quinn's room. Her room is never overly messy and usually only takes me five to 10 minutes to clean up. So I'm quickly just grabbing everything off of the floors. We're going to dust and wipe down all of the furniture and then just do a really quick vacuum in here before moving on to the master bathroom. All of the doors in our home have these little indent cutouts that collect a lot of dust and they are definitely a neglected area so while I had my cloth out I just wanted to give these a quick wipe down. Now we are finally moving on to the master bathroom. The main thing I was wanting to get done in here was the shower. We have so much buildup of hard water on the glass of our shower right now. I do usually clean the shower while I am in here and that is why I don't usually film it. But since I have fallen behind and neglected it a little bit, I decided to film it today so you guys could see how bad it was. This is the before clip and I am going to be using a mixture of vinegar and dawn dish soap i do use the blue one i'm not sure if it matters but that is what i have always used and i spray this down i fill an amazon spray bottle with the mixture i spray it all down and i let this sit for probably about 20 minutes while i clean the rest of the bathroom and then i'm going to come back and scrub this all down with a brush I 
The door in my bathroom was super, super dusty, so just like I did in Quinn's room, I am just going to be using my microfiber cloth to wipe this area down. The top of the door frame was so bad. I don't know if I have ever wiped this down. I will show you guys the cloth once I am finished, but it was insane how much dust and dirt has built up in this area. I'm not gonna play nice. I'll be the witch you tell your friends about. Now that the vinegar and Dawn dish soap has had time to sit and break down the hard water on all of the glass and the shower, I'm just going through with a brush to scrub this all down and loosen it all up so it is nice and clean in here once we rinse it off. I mentioned that all of these voiceovers from this point in the video were done before Grayson was hurt, but I am just popping on in current time because it's so sad seeing this clip of him running around and having fun, and this is before he was hurt, and it just made me sad watching this, and I just wanted to say if you guys have any tips and tricks, if you have had a child with a broken leg or honestly any broken bone, things to keep them entertained or keep their spirits up, please leave them down below because this is our first of a broken bone and hopefully it is our last. A little bit too
So here is a uh, before of the glass shower door again. You can see how much water has been built up on it. And here is the after. It looks so much better. It is still not perfect. I will probably have to go through and do another round with the vinegar and dish soap. But for now, this is such an upgrade from what it was. The next thing we are going to be tackling is this mountain of my kids clean laundry. This was quite a bit later in the evening. You will see my kids running around in their jammies. I wanted to get all of the laundry done before I put them down for bed. It does still look like it's daylight out, but this was actually around 7.30 in the evening, which is when my kids all go to bed, especially Quinn. She was ready to go. She was getting a little cranky, but whenever I have a mountain of laundry like this of my kids, I just put it off for so long just because I find it so time consuming to fold and put away all of their tiny little things, but it does always feel so good to get it done. You guys know that I absolutely love leggings. I wear them pretty much every single day of my entire life. They are so comfortable and I'm a huge, huge fan of my mom uniform. But I recently found these jeans. I purchased them at Old Navy and they fit me like a glove. They are so comfortable and they are honestly my first pair of high-waisted jeans, which I know I am so late on the high-waisted trend and I do not know what took me so long to jump on board but these are beyond comfortable and the high waist definitely changes everything for me. I find myself reaching for these jeans over leggings most days and that's absolutely wild to me. So if you are like me and you have not been getting your high-waisted jeans, definitely try them out because they are such a game changer, so comfortable and I am definitely going back to buy three more pairs of these because I am going to be wearing them constantly. Here's to the good days, here's to the sorrows If this is a mistake, I know about tomorrow I don't wanna fight no more, cause I don't feel the need no more, no Just wanna make it stop Maybe it's something in the water Or maybe we just hit the end of the road First love, and you were my first one. Cheers to all the memories, the venom and the remedies. Yeah, promise I won't forget. And now this ended up being a couple of hours later when I was wanting to crawl into bed and of course my bed was not made from earlier in the day. I feel like every single time I wash my bedding I always forget it in the dryer and it sits there all day until I am in my pajamas wanting to crawl into bed. So this is the last thing that we are going to be doing for the night. Just 
that is going to be it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching and thank you again for all of the love and support sent our way over the last couple of weeks with Gray. It has been a rough one, but he is doing so good. I will make sure to feature him in next week's video so you guys can see him and see how well he's doing and he would love to show off his wheelchair. He thinks it's the best thing ever. We will have it for the next month or two and I will keep you guys posted. If you do want to follow me over on Instagram to just kind of stay up to date on our day-to-day -day lives and any updates that I do have with Grayson or anything else going on, definitely head over to Instagram and follow me at Aaliyah Martins. I will have it linked down below. Thank you again so much for watching today's video and I will see you all next Friday with a brand new one. Bye guys. Here I am.